Hey traders, I want to do a, a walkthrough on a trade that I saw slash took or didn't take on some of them. Just some thoughts and thought process of trading uh, SRNE, Sorrento Therapeutics. Um, I tried already making this video, but uh, apparently my mic was muted the whole time. So uh, this is the second take. So one thing you notice here is back in uh, middle of May, um, uh, SRNE went from a price around 258 all the way up to 1067, 1057 area, and then got rejected and sold and, and basically consolidated for the next month around this $5 area. And you can see here, this is a big volume node uh, based on this chart. And eventually, you know, it held and uh, it was slowly breaking up. And then finally, it tested this level again and then got rejected. And then for the, the second time it tested it, it finally broke on big volume and big move of price, uh, you know, away from this level. And then it consolidated for a couple of days and then boom, huge, you know, parabolic at this point. And you can see that it started coming crashing down. And if we zoom in right here, you know, you can see that, you know, here's the test, broke over, tested back, went above, went even higher, then came crashing back down, tested this level again, went back up, now forming a lower high, and now coming back down, uh, you know, and then we're going to talk about a trade on this day here and what we're looking for. So first things first is let's check a look at the stats. One thing to note is you can see that the volume is, you know, very elevated, 170 millions per day, average volume in the last 10 days, 50, you know, 47 million in the last three months, which is very high. I mean, 107 volume, that's over half the float every day. Um, the, the, you know, institutional ownership is pretty low. so. This is okay for shorts, you know, you don't want to see a high sh institutional ownership. That means that, you know, when the price gets lower, they're going to, you know, defend their levels. Uh, and the next thing is, is this short float. So when you want to do a new short, you're looking for lower short percentage of float. So this kind of means that you're already a little late to the party. There's already a lot of people short on this stock, and that was from 31st. There could be a lot more piled in since then. And, you know, once you get a buyer step up, you could have a pretty massive short squeeze where, you know, this float has to start covering a, a, a big portion. So that is a, you know, negative check. I mean, the IO is, is okay, so we like that, but we would like this to be lower. But it's nothing too scary. We're just kind of going for a momentum scalp, and we're going to watch the pr price action. It's just that's one, you know, thing that we're, we're not really liking. Okay, let's go to this, the chart. So the first thing you'll notice is that this thing's already down 12.6%. So that is a little bit, L, you know, a little bit of a negative as well. You know, if this is if we're looking for a short, this is already down quite a bit off the top, and it's back now at a pretty significant sub level here. Um, so this is what we're going to watch for a breakdown, or is this going to reverse, right? And another thing against us on on the shorts is you know for shorting is that SSR is on. So short sale restriction that means we're only going to get filled now on upticks. Uh, we can't short on the bid. We won't get filled on the bid. So this makes shorting life a lot harder. And for me, that's a negative. I, I want to be able to short on the bid. I want to be able to get in at a moment's, you know, one click of the hotkey, I'm in. But now I have to think carefully be, and, you know, what price uh, I want to be in at because I might not get filled. And I don't want to get filled at a bad price. I want to get filled when I want to get filled. So, uh, so you can just see the level marked out 1057 here. The, you know, it went up, uh, broke it the second time, went back down, tested it, then boom, and then came back and went and formed a lower high two days ago, and then now it's coming back down here. So, some pre-market levels you can see that 10 
11.23, you know, held support, held resistance here, and then this $11 area, you can draw a line here, and you know, right here, right here, and right here, three times it tested that area. Uh, first it was support, and then it became resistance, and then you're going to have VWAP and these moving averages all stack, you know, when the open comes, this is going to go, you know, stack down here, the VWAP. So all these three things are lining up. So one thing I'm looking for is when it's below view up, I like to get short. And so I'm looking for, is this going to go into this $11, you know, maybe pierce this a little bit, you know, 11.05, 11.08, level 10, maybe 11.23, 11.30, and then get rejected. And then, you know, on this rejection, I want to get short and then take this down to 1060 see what happens there and see if it's going to break down to you know maybe ten dollars so let's just play the tape quickly so waiting for the open one second here it goes boom all of a sudden a big amount of volume so this opening price is just noise you just gotta ignore it first thing i see is that at eleven dollars there's big shares um, you know not big but there's some peop sellers there so I'm watching that $11 I want to see is this gonna hold so right now this is kinda just there, there's no real selling there's no really buying on the tape it's just neutral I'm waiting for one of the sides to uh, to press and I'm hoping that the buyers you know they step up first you know and we're look we're, we're trying to see is okay we want a little bit of buyers. They step up, and then they they get rejected. So one thing I saw there is a short seller stepped right down to ninety one dollars. And if I was, you know, if I could short on the bid right now, that's exactly what I would do. I would short at ten ninety, and I'd be risking ten ninety one, ten ninety two. And if this got taken out, I'd get out right away. And I'd be looking for this to drop really fast and hit. 1060, 1070 quick. So risking one to two cents for 20, 30 cents really fast. So this is one play that I would be looking at. And if this got bought out and I missed it, I'm I see that only nine cents later there's there's a lot of orders eleven. So I know that I won't have that much slippage. So I think that's a good trade. But SS with SSR on, that's a really difficult trade because with at 1091 and the bid at 1090 you can't get on the bid there you would have to put your your short sell on the offer and you'd be behind that big line of short sellers already there so it, it just wouldn't work in this case so you can't do that trade and uh, obviously since you couldn't short there this trade might not even work and if I can't short that then other people can't short that so that that trade wouldn't work in this situation that's why you know something like SSR really sucks because that would have been a really good short momentum trade but it, it just can't happen with SSR so it looks like buyers are just gonna you know buy this up and it's now gonna test 11 and there's quite a bit of volume at 11 uh, you know shares here and let's just see you can see that it's going it's going and it's decrementing decrementing and still holding but I mean this is slowly decrementing lower and it looks like it's pierced it and the one thing that was confusing to me and the reason why I didn't take this trade is I still see orders at 11 but the whole bid and at, uh, or you know, the time of sales are at 11.5, level 4, level 3. So this this started getting me confused here. I, you know, which one's telling the truth? <laughs> and it's hard to read. I, I need both of these, you know, acting in, you know, together. And they were not, you know, this is this is like technical difficulties to me. Um, so I'm waiting and now it looks like finally the the the, the time and sales and uh, and the level two is lining up again and it looks like right there is the moment of truth where you had a level 11 10 spike and it went right back down to level three so now I'd be looking okay 
this is exactly what I looked for. I wanted to pierce through VWAP, pierce over 11, you know, hit some stops of these short people who are using 11, and get short here and risk 11, 10, 11, 11 ish. So let's just let's just say that we hit in here 11:02. Boom, it went to 10.95. That looks really nice now. Okay, we're we're in good shape. There's no reason to sell, uh, to cover yet. Uh, we're looking for 10.70, 10.60 minimum, and it's it's now dropping really nice. And now it's getting a little bit slow here at 1076 and there's quite a bit of order 70 oh blasted there 70 has come some orders and it's going slow not slowly decrementing but it okay it came back here still looking okay let's see how this reacts okay maybe right there I'm thinking okay let's take a quick cover you know it's hit nearly this first you know inflection point here and it kind of got and there was lots of traffic to go through here and you know lots of volume and it didn't go down as fast as I would like I mean it already went so uh, you know good 30 cents so let's take some profit here we were only risking 10 cents so this is like a 3R trade already so take some profit on 3R um, it's still looking weak here. Yep, this is looking better. 57, 56, 55, 53. I see a big order at 1050, so um, you might want to think about it. if that doesn't break that you want to start lining up, but there's really no reason to uh, to cover right now. There's, I mean, this is just keeps going down. Why are we covering it, right? So, oh, that was extremely nice. You saw that it just went through 1050 like like that. Just went so fast. So let's just keep watching, keep watching. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Now at this point, you know, 1050 is huge shares, and it went all the way to 1033. I'd be thinking, okay, let's let's do another. Uh, you know partial here we just made you know what is that 7r on this trade in two minutes let's let's cover some of our profits here uh, and it just you know it just flushed down all the way from 1075 to 1035 very quickly there's a good chance this is going to bounce from 1035 back to you know this area so why not take some profits here of that reevaluate over here and, and add this back on so we're just watching and it, it looks like yes you know it spiked quickly down to three thirty three but it now needs a little bit of time to just consolidate around here you gotta remember that SSR is still on so it's a lot harder to go down for an extended period of time eventually you run out of sellers right to drive the price lower because the, the shorts can only go on the ask or on the on an uptick, right? Okay, so now I went up to 56, 57. At this point, you got to be thinking that that 57 is a pretty good level. That's one of the inflection points that we talked about right at the beginning here, right? Over here, over here, over here, and now it just tested it. You got to be thinking that that level is maybe good. So let's just watch here. It's struggling just to get over 1050 now. And now it's at 1033 again. But it didn't break and it went straight back up to 1040. It's a little concerning about, you know, you'd like that to break. Oh, and then look at that. 1039 of. Uh, an order stepped up. What is that? Almost 60k shares right there. So that's six hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, stock that someone's just wanting to buy right there, and so that's not what you really want to see. 
you need six hundred thousand worth dollars worth of longs to step out at that point. You don't know what else he's he wants to buy. So you can see it's decorating, decorating. Hmm. Kind of looks like it still looks like it's gonna go down, right? Okay, it goes down. Let's see, ten thirty-three. Nope, ten thirty-three. Gonna break? Nope. It just goes right back up to ten forty-one. Looks like someone put in a big order again, and he bought all the way up from ten thirty-three all the way to ten forty-one. Still, but he he's absorbing a lot of sellers. There's still a lot of sellers here. I mean, look at this volume, right? And now it's kind of looking like it, it, it it's, could be one of two things, right? It looks like it's a, still a bear fig, right? And maybe getting short around this 1050 and risking a 1057. That's a great trade to see if it can break down this level. But it's also showing signs that there's somebody down here that, that wants this stock and there's quite a bit of volume that this might reverse now. So let's just be mindful. And the real trade was, you know, taking this, but the secondary trade is doing a short here and risking up to here. So let's see. Watching. Got over 1051. Just couldn't do it again. Now it's speeding up a little bit, the tape. And I'm watching that 1045. If it starts breaking, you might think that this is going to go down back up to 1050, 1051, just can't get over that 1051, 1050 is holding, and then right back down, 1045, let's see, and then right there, that was just really quick buying, this is where you'd think that you'd hit in for momentum, oh, I actually did trade right there, so I shorted right there, but, you know what, that didn't go down right away, you'd expect that to just go boom, so this is, that's another knock, you know, this should have went down, it didn't go down. Why didn't it go down, right? So you got to be thinking like that. So now I'm really suspicious that, you know, is this actually going to break up to the upside? So I need to keep my t my stop real tight, you know, 1057. So I'm in at 1044, not the best price. I'd rather be around 1045. It went up to 1050 again and then rejected down to 1044. So this is still okay, still okay here. Looking for a move. 1040s. I'm looking for, I want for this to break. Okay, there you go. 36. Still so many buyers. 35, 34, 30s has lots. Of, right back up to 40. Okay, at this point, I'm thinking this isn't really going to happen. I mean, this might happen for 10, 20 cents. This isn't going down to $9 here. So I'm ready. I'm now just trying to manage the trade and just get out fours you know any sign that I need to get out so first thing I see is that it just can't break this 30 so I actually took a piece right there at 32 and uh, it just wasn't working not the greatest R&R uh, &R, but you just gotta lighten up when you, you don't see that it's going down in your favor right um, so finally here, 30 looks like it's breaking. Okay, let's see what happens. It's just so many buyers. You got 25, now it has a lot of buyers. 24, okay, they're taking out. Okay, this is looking okay. 23, 22. Okay, they just take another piece there. We're just trying to get out of this trade and, and take profit because we're, we're thinking that this might reverse. There's just so many buyers. I mean, look at the volume there as, as it's going down there, right? There's just a ton of people buying. So let, let's just uh, fast forward there for a second. So you can see, like, every time it goes down, it goes down. It's just getting bought up right away, wick, wick, wick. And the volume is just still pretty consistent. I mean, it's down a little bit but it's not that much down and it's almost like you would like to see this kind of pull length right down here so you'd be you'd like to be down here when you see the next little pullback but this did not really go down very much this only went down like 20 cents 
so not the greatest. So at this point, I'm I'm putting my stop at like you know break even here. I'm thinking this is reversing. In fact, you know this these levels here. I'm thinking that this is a false breakdown at this point. Possibly this can actually reverse. So one could do a trade here and be like, okay, I want to get in at 10.24, 10.20, risk you know maybe 10.20, 10.10 here, the low of this wick just a little a couple more cents below that and see if you can get back up to this 1065 level or this 11 or 1123 or hell maybe you can get up to the 1250 from yesterday so let's see what happens here yeah it's 1020 let's see if this breaks down it's you know, this isn't really, doesn't look that great. Oh, 10.30 again. Hmm, 10.28. I'm getting a little nervous here in my 10.32. I don't like that it reclaimed 30s. That's kind of like the low there, okay. Kind of got rejected, it's still okay. But there's just so many buyers, it seems. Oh, they're getting decremented. Still okay. 1020. Back up to 33. Yeah. And then look at that. Just a straight up flush. Right up to 1050. And huge volume. I have stopped out. Hard stopped and you know if I just quickly skip ahead here let's just go back to this thinkorswim chart and let's just put this on uh, one minute and we'll go back to this day here so here is our levels in the morning you know this is that 11 11 dollar area where it hit and then down here and then this is the 1123 area where it was support here and then it topped out here so you know this is the, the great short take some profits short again hoping this has another leg down doesn't have a leg down cover into this a little bit cover break even on this spike comes back down that's kind of worrisome for the longs but it just came right back down so this might be a great reversal trade right where you kind of have a false breakdown you see the buyer stepping up and this is just struggling this is struggling to go down and this with SSR on the float percent, short float percent so high, and it already down so far. This is a good candidate for a reversal. And, and what happened is it squeezed above the UAP, pulled back in, and then boom, you know, just trended up back to, you know, pretty much 1240. And if we look back, where is that? Where does, what is 1240? And here is that day again. 1240. That is right in the consolidation of yesterday's levels. 1220 to 1240, you know, 1250. So it went right back to yesterday's level. False breakdown, right back up, squeeze, rip. So there's two trades here, you know, the nice short off the open, nice momentum opening drive, you know, a good dollar, 10% move. And then, I know, and then you get you know 25% move uh, to the upside so pick your poison you know there's a lot of good trade uh, trades just from this one trade in um, SRNE and uh, hope you liked the video and I hope the recording was good this time <laughs> have a good day see ya